afraid to be amazed. The disciples have entered into a ship with Jesus to go across to the Sea of Galilee. Needless to say, this journey across the sea was an eventful trip. It was an emotional trip. It was an engulfing trip. This excursion emerged two extremes in the experience of the elect. The text declared they went from being afraid to being amazed. They were afraid because conditions on the sea got out of their control. Conditions became, if you will, chaotic, became cantankerous, crazy. And to no matter okay, how, how, how well in hand you think you may have situations, or uh, how confident you are in your own strength, uh, things can come up. They can arise in your life that will shake you. Uh, they'll, they'll shock you. They'll even scare you to the point you are becoming skeptical about your own survival. Uh, tonight they were afraid, but they went from being afraid to being amazed. They were amazed because Jesus spoke to this storm and subdued, silenced this storm. And tonight I won't just jump too, too far too quick, but, but God is amazing. And he does amazing things. And the word amazed simply means to be filled with wonder. And that's why God often keeps his children filled with wonder. Always wondering what God would do next. I'm wondering how God would bring me out of this. I wonder how God would work this. And then all of a sudden, He does it. All of a sudden, it's done. And tonight, all of us have had our dreadful days. We've had some tough times. We've had some sticky situations where God brought us from being afraid to being amazed. Tonight, let's walk through the text tonight. Uh, verse, verse 35. Verse 35, here we go. Number one. Number one, the text tonight talks about Number one, this is the advancement of the saints. The advancement of the saints. Here it says, let us pass over unto the other side. Now, now that, that's advancement. Uh, for whenever you are with God, you are always going. You are always Growing. You're always growing toward a goal. You are never to become stagnant, stationary, or satisfied with the Savior. Uh, he said, let us pass over. Uh, that is, let's go what we have not gone. Let's do what we have not done. Uh, let's, let's travel in new territory. Let's tread on new turf. Let us pass over to the other side. Tonight, is it not the truth tonight that, that want to be, want to advance in life? 
the one that be anchored in the Lord? Good man, we want to build up on advance in life. We want to uh, pass in the school. We want to progress in the service. All promotion and status. When it comes to God, we want to be parked as saints. We want to advance in life, but be anchored in the Lord. I tell you what our anchor does. Our anchor, anchor keeps the ship at the dock. And our anchor keeps the ship from drifting. Even though the ship was designed to divide the deep, it was it was made to sail the sea. Uh, yet anchors will hold it stationed at the shore. But it's still in the water. Oh, that what happens is it has, it has, it has, it has motion, but no movement. Oh, oh, well, tonight, 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 here we are, here we are, tonight, because tonight have, have motion, but no movement. You ever, you ever, you ever been always on the go and wasn't getting nowhere? You ever been always busy, wasn't getting nothing done? You been doing a whole lot of spending and then the show falling. Uh, we, we have motion, but there is no movement. Even in church, we have good motion, but there is no movement. We have good programs, good, good projects, good pursuits, but we ain't getting nowhere. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the laws, it's, 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 it's this rocking chair syndrome. Well, you're always moving. But you ain't getting nowhere. And, and he said, I want saints to advance. Let's, let's go over to the other side. Uh, we'll sing this. We'll, we've done this. We know this. Let's advance to the other side. Well, to go to the other side means this. It means to, to leave the classroom of the gospel and go to the coast of the Galilee. It means to get out of, out of the sanctuary and get to the street. Oh, leave, leave, put the word into practice. We have to learn how to advance from where we are and move to the other side. But a real task is, but a real work is, is the advancement of the saints. Let us pass over to the other side. Well, number two, number two, number two, number two. Two, talks about when it's text seven, verse number seven, talks about the atrocity on the sea. The atrocity on the sea. When they set sail on the other side, they run into a storm. And you have to know this that the body, uh, the water by the water and see if that will leave, there's a strange body of water. Uh, in fact, it's made up, you know, of fresh water. Uh, the sea is shaped like a pear. It's almost 700 feet below sea level, uh, surrounded by high mountains, 15 miles long, 7 miles wide, a bit of big deep. Uh, and it's so located that storms can come up any moment. Without warning, without knowing, just show up and bring highway the high as 20 feet. And here they are going across the sea and run into a storm. Now, now listen, 